Sean Pace. Ah, it's so good. I, I gotta pull it back to when the bass pulled in. That was so good. What do you think? Maybe too far back? Who cares? This is really good. It's showtime, folks. Hey, everyone, and welcome. Welcome. Come on in. Come on in. Don't sit down. Sit down around. I have a really good song for you today. Um, well, actually, I really have no clue <laughs> because why would I? Most of the songs I react to, including this one, I never heard of before. Um, and yeah, so this is this comes from Dave. Dave M. Dave, how's it going? Thank you. Uh, so why would you say that I'm that you're gonna enjoy the song if I don't know it? Um, because the song is uh, "How to Be a Werewolf." <laughs> I love the damn song title. How can a song named that not be good? Um, I mean, Dave, seriously, man, you actually raised the bar just by giving me a song title, that song name. Um, sorry, that's the way it goes. So if it's anything like anything but here, if it's like here, nah, -uh. even here, nah, it has to be, my hand is like way up here now. It's got to be that good. Um, sorry. So here we go. Um, maybe I'll be the one who's sorry. Uh, looking like an asshole. <laughs> it's like, oh, my God, this is great. So here we go. How to be a werewolf. By, oh, and Mogwai. M-O-G-W-A-I. That's even, that's, a, that's even, that's cooler than the song title. Mogwai. All right, I'll shut up. <laughs> Mogwai. How to be a werewolf. I love the build up. Ah, it's so good. I, I got to pull it back to when the bass pulled in. That was so good. What do you think? Maybe too far back? Who cares? This is really good.
acabou. Drumming. Perfect, perfect end to an almost perfect song. <laughs> almost, I don't know. Is there anything that's perfect? Okay, this is the one exception. Perfect song. <laughs> it's so good. Ah, Dave. Wow. All right. Um, let me get my thoughts together and try to articulate something pretty cool and interesting and funny. Or just talk about how good the song is. On the other side. I loved that song so much. I really did. Holy shit. <laughs> and it, here, there I was on the other side acting like a stupid, complete ass. <laughs> About how the bar raised high and it really must be good. It better be good, Dave. And I'm like, holy shit. <laughs> it was actually good. No, Dave, it was great. I loved it. I mean, I knew like 30 seconds in. I loved that buildup, that slow intro that kind of odd sound sort of thing um uh there was some sort of like i don't know how to explain that some sort of audio weird sound just kind of kept coming in uh and then you had the snap in so like that's what it started out with right and then and that was that was the song you know you have something come in and then something followed right behind it and then another thing came in right behind and just just kept and that just kept and the song was just building so then you had that snapping in the background, you know, almost like a whipping sound, but more like a snap. Um, and then that, that like, I think it was like a, a guitar strum, like, wow, it just kept going from like almost left to right, you know? And then you just had, then you had just the instruments coming in, you had this guitar stunt and that guitar, that little guitar part, the first guitar song that I, sound that I heard um, that was kind of really playing the foundation of the song because i really think it was that it was that guitar line it was like right <laughs> um and, and just everything built around that and i love songs like that and it was just it stayed that one chord up until I think 310, then I think that's when it changed to much like harder, more, not a harder sound, but more like a fleshed, fleshed in, everything kind of coming in. And the guitar is kind of more just like that electric kind of guitar that's filling everything in. Um, and again, that was like a, that was, that was a 310. <laughs> so that was, I mean, for three minutes, it was a build up to that song. That was just so genius. Um, I loved it. I really loved that buildup. 
And then, and it really felt right that like by 310 and going forward, right, the song started really hitting its peak, you know, um, which, which really makes sense. You know, if you keep going up, 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 you know, and then you kind of hit that sort of, you know, and that, that made a lot of sense. Um, and what was interesting too, is that I think it was one chord up until that time. And I think from 310 on, um, especially at the round four minute mark, maybe a little bit like 420, I think that's when there were other chord changes. I think there was something else that was sort of, it was a different sort of change up. Um, and, uh, oh, and at that time too, yeah, at the 425 mark, the guitar was going off doing something else. There was another guitar part that was coming in. I think it was on this year. And it was just doing this really, oh, going up and it's, everything had its place. Everything was just strategically placed and beautiful. Um, and then I love the ending because like a circle of life. So this song had a circle of life, you know, the beginning and then the end um, didn't sound exactly like the beginning, but it did simmer down. It came down almost like to those sort of few precious kind of notes, you know, again, from the rhythm guitar and the bass, and then it just, and it just stopped. And that was beautiful. See, I showed I was paying attention. I mean, I did take notes, but, um, but that, that's in my head right now. And, and so what happened is that there's not a lot of homework, not a lot of stuff out there about the song, the band. Yeah. And I'll, I'll pull that up in a second, but I was looking for a song and of course, no lyrics. So I can't really, you know, go into my usual, the lyric thing at the end. Um, but I pulled something else up that about the song and they were talking about a video and they were talking about uh, a bike rider, James Bothorpe. So I was kind of intrigued. So after my reaction on screen, um, I decided to go check that out. And I saw why you didn't give me that link because that's from Sub Pop and that's the record group on YouTube. And yeah, yeah. I mean, if you strategically decided not to give me that link, Dave, that's because you figured out that there's a good chance I might've been blocked on that. So, but I still wanted to check it out. And it's really interesting. They actually took the six minute song and they condensed like three and change. Um, so yeah, I love, I mean, this full length version, that's the best, right? Because again, that build up, you know, you don't get that from the vid, the video, but the video is so good too. Because I love, I mean, just the, I found out that it's the Norwegian countryside that he's bike riding in. And it seems like in the beginning, it's, it's the morning time where the sun is rising and he gets to that little part of the, like the lake, whatever, and he's just looking out and it looked like that was the, again, that was the sun that was rising. And then... And then he takes off again. And I love that part of the video. Folks, if you haven't seen this, you got to check it out. I'll actually put the link of the official video. Um, you'll have two links. You'll have it to the audio version that I reacted to. And then also of the official version um, that you'll find on Sub Pop. And he's riding off. And all of a sudden, all the scenery just kind of like evaporates. And it's just him, James. Uh, his back, he's kind of far away and everything is all white. The background is just complete white. That was so visually, that was that was stunning. Um, and then the very end of the vi video has him, again, the circle of life and the song, the song kind of came back to where it started. And he goes back to that lake area, it looked like, um, where he was seeing the rising sun and now he's seeing the setting sun. So very smart that what they did there. Um, so I love that. So let me actually pull up well, I pulled it up already. Let me just get into the band a bit. Um, I never heard of this band before. Dave, I'm sold, man. I think this band, they can't come out with something like this. That's just so, uh, so rich in sound uh, and so smartly done, but it's a band. It's not overproduced. This is a band that they, they, they I mean, this, this was like a jam, but like a real smartly done jam. <laughs> um, I'm intrigued. I'm in. I'm brought in. Um, doesn't mean you have to pay me more or whatever for me to react. Uh, just give me some breadcrumbs in the comments. What's that next one I got to do from this band? Like, like I said, I'm sold. Uh, so here we go. Uh, Mogwai are a Scottish post-rock band formed. This is Wiki. Formed in 1995 in Glasgow. 
The band consists of Stuart Braithwaite, guitar vocals, no vocals here, Barry Burns, guitar, piano, synthesizer vocals, Dominic Aitchison, bass guitar, and Martin Bullock, drums. Mogwai typically composed lengthy guitar-based instrumental pieces that feature dynamic contrast, melodic bass guitar lines, and heavy use of distortion effects. Right up my alley. It's just sound. This is just sound, sound galore. Uh, uh, the rhythm section is so good. All right, I'm digressing <laughs> again. Um, the band, so it just talks about how they changed record labels. Actually, it looks like they made a few changes there. Uh, and Mugwai's 10th album, as a look continues, reached number one in the UK albums chart on February 26, 2021. So they are a present day, 1995 to present day. Wow. And look at the genres that Wiki's given them. Post-rock, instrumental rock, and space rock. Yeah. And if I got the space rock, there's a lot of space in the song, but that's not what they meant. All right, Dave, I'm sold. Like I said, um, give me information about this band. Um, give me the highlights. Tell me what you know about them. Is this your favorite band? Or is this one of them? And what got you into them and all that? Yeah, I want to know it all. And folks out there, it doesn't have to just be Dave. <laughs> um, let me know if you're watching this because you love this album, this band, this song, whatever. You know, let me know. Give me, again, give me breadcrumbs. Uh, and with that said, I will see every one of you into the next, into, in the next episode of Into the Music. <laughs>